Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker, I hope everyone is doing well here today. Guys, my main goal for today's video is to go and share with you probably the most overpowered builds here for this season, and we're gonna go and be starting this whole thing off with what I think based off statistics... Oh, dude, we are good. Guys, this is gonna be such a perfect showcase. Yo. Oh, wait. Good? Oh, I see. We are going to uh, hold on to this. This man is right up over here. Good. Desperado is phenomenal. Yo. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, come on, character. Keep on moving forward. Honestly, this is... Oh, this man is just right up there. He is trying to go in and rail you, boy. Let's go for a little reload. Also, cut off this. Yo. Oh, good. But, uh... Oh, hello. Wait, Ban is just in, in the Desperado turret. Yo, please stop. No. Guys, does anyone know if I'm actually going and doing damage? Oh, bro. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Say, oh, run. Thank you. And then absolutely fantastic. Yeah, guys, this is the Amax here. I'll go and toss up the uh, build up on screen. I think based off the stats, this is supposed to go and be the best uh, close to medium range gun that one oh, could go and use. Oh, this man might go in and perform murder. Oh, why did my heal go and cancel? Now, guys, there should be zero people that are surprised. Oh, yes, yeah, slow mantle. Uh, that are surprised by my next build here. Oh, yo. Yes, thank you very much. Um, but I indeed have a little bit of the mythic Odin cooking on in here. This dude is... Wait, is one of these dudes close? Oh, yeah. This man is close. What up, baby? Uh, okay. So how exactly do I want to go and do this? This isn't the best type of rock to go and be on here. As well as right now would actually be the perfect time to go and use AMAC. Good. Okay. Um, but right, we're going and using the Mythic Odin. Y'all have already seen me going and using this gun here for multiple seasons. I'll go and toss up the build here up on screen. But I know that not everyone owns this Mythic Odin variant. So I will uh, eventually later on in this video go and share a free to play build for all of y'all to go and use. Oh, this man is playing so sneaky. Yo. Oh, I can't ADS. Bro, that was so weird. Um, but yeah, okay, guys, for the next gun here, we're indeed going to be using the M4, right? This has been a staple in the Battle Royale for such a long period of time. I'll go and toss up the build up on screen right now. I genuinely believe that this is currently the best M4 build that one could go and use here. Aim assist is still super strong here with this gun. It's just all of the elements that goes and makes the M4 super insane it's all still there and I, I think there was supposed to go and be like a nerf here for this season cooking on with the m4 but dude it is still the same gun that we all know and love also this dude i bro i i think he should have died what dude the, okay this dude had zero he had zero vehicle audio going on oh my god okay shout out thank you cod m <laughs> like bro i think that there's two things that are uh scuffed currently in the game i think that the vehicle audio is scuffed as well as the pumped audio is uh has been super scuffed here as well maybe you guys could go and give it your boy some reassurance here oh this man wait did he just go and die by He's going to be so weak. He's going to have to go in and fight zone here. Boys, we're going to go and push up. I think that this is the type of situation in which M4... Oh, yeah. M4 is going to be cooking on in. This dude is right underneath here. Yes. Oh! Right? Like, dude, aim assist is still definitely, definitely here with the M4. This man... Man. Like, dude, right? You cannot go wrong with the Odin. Like, guys, do not be surprised if this is going to be the primary gun that y'all are going to be seeing a lot from me here for this season. And now when it comes to this build, also, shout out, thank you, Bot, for going and taking me off my 200. I just got to go and give uh, such a huge shout out to Parker YT. This next gun is indeed going to go and be the S36. I'll go and show the uh, loadout up on screen. S36 for being up close and personal. I know it's an LMG, which might go and deter some people. 
but it's just how this uh how this lmg goes and plays on out it is so beautiful to go and use also i know that this is going to be multiple men like guys it's going and doing 50 oh come on inputs my thank you game i love this i love this okay that dude's right on the corner here honestly oh hey oh yeah oh baby okay um well um this is a lot more scuff than this has to go and be like guys this is such a great weapon to go and get your hands on here man um if y'all have not went and tried out this gun here i would so recommend to go and do so right just being able to go and wipe off that team there like if my inputs were going and working correctly it would have been a little bit smoother to go and do but this is one of those guns that i think i would even recommend it over something like the amax even like go and try it out if you have been stuck on like m4 meta here for a while it's pretty gnarly also i know that s36 is available as ground loot here for this season but it's just something about this custom variant that it's so much better than just like the uh the ground loot variant here but guys we still have a couple more builds here to go and share let's hop into game number two okay like i said there's still so many other builds that i have to go and show on off here but it was just something something so magical about going and using the S36 there. That is definitely a gun that y'all are going to be seeing in the rotation. A lot more here. Also, dude, my inputs are still... Like, my characters go in weird directions. I, and I'm hoping that you guys are also willing to go and give that gun... Give that gun a shot here where would the rest of these boys go i know that recently people have been going and saying that i should go and use other guns that aren't like the mythic odin for example but the primary reason why i love going and using the mythic odin not like because it's super op here but it's just pro it is the best universal gun to go and use it's great at up close long range and then medium range and it's one of those guns in which like let's just go okay let's just go and say something weird happens in game here for me i could just go and oh that man is real like if something weird happens in the game and i have to go and clutch up clutch up like super quickly just go and bust out the mythic odin and it's like it's like an old reliable type of thing this dude is coming on up we can do a little bit of the spamming of the pp sir is falling bad bro also like oh this man is going and pushing the bison is super underrated here as well oh got a couple dudes oh uh, yo hello rpd thank you uh i think we just gotta go on in good hey yes oh and this is probably gonna end up going and being final Alrighty, and then this man in the helicopter door. These dogs are still gonna be uh, wanting to go in and munch on your boy. Bro, wait! It said that one of the oh come on, come on, Mr. Character. Uh guys, this is a this is a full team. Um this man is that yo do this. Oh uh, bro, I need that to be so much smoother. Um, Oakley Doakley, Oakley Doakley. This is gonna be a little bit more scuff than I wanted it to go and be. Yo, hey, oh, baby, hey, boom. Good. Okay, let's do one of these here. Um, oh man, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, is he just doing res duty right now? Oh, and I know that the other dude's probably gonna be. Wait, wait. Bro, yo. Yo. Yes. Oh. Come on. Reload. Dude, this is... Is this back-to-back -back squad wipe? Hey. Okay. Guys, let's uh, let's go and grab our customs here. Yo, there is so much happening directly down beneath me here. Oh, this man is coming out up. Yo. Odin, do it! Dude, and also, guys... That is one of the most satisfying things to go and do here. Also, this is going to be the free-to-play build for the Odin going on in. But the primary thing that you guys have to go and understand is that even though that this is a free-to-play build, 
it's just super difficult to go and replicate what makes the mythic variant of the odin so good it's just something that's so much more fluid to go and use with the mythic variant that compared to this free to play build variant but it's still a gun build that y'all could go and attempt to go and use but if you're expecting like that same level of fluidity here it's just not gonna go and uh and be possible man it is just so difficult to uh, oh that thing is gonna be busting nice it's just so hard to go and replicate like what makes the mythic odin so juicy so i can't really tell if this guy he's got his semen real oh yo yes okay i need their goodies it would be awesome to go and get like a bigger backpack cooking on here okay guys there is two men that are directly below that was a beautiful time to go and use that now oh wait hold up we are good to this little play here we have to go and do one of these here motions now y'all just went and saw one of the only downsides with the mac 10 here i do consider this to be such a phenomenal gun build to go and use but it is only supposed to be used at up close and personal like this is the type of build that if you're going up against someone oh who is going and using an hso and you're more of like an smg type of player this is the type of gun that you want to go and have on your side if we're gonna go and do a little lead here like this right like just being able to go and see how quickly these boys go and get murdered here also i think that this is probably going to end up being the final oh yeah that's going to end up going being final guy here part of that team this gun is so magical here man oh this man is right here y'all see right like guys even this uh free to play build of the odin like let's be honest it's not that shabby here oh mr bot please take me off by 200 um and then guys for the final build right like dude that's doing high 30s in terms of damage this is just gonna go and be the ak-47 i know that there's still gonna be like a sweatier team out there but this is what in my opinion is the best ak-47 build to go and use oh mr sir right that's more of like a mid-range type of usage going on with it here oh this is gonna be very real gentlemen directly in front of me here oh 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 good okay also there's gonna be some boys up on my up on my right side here they're all probably trying oh this man is real oh no okay this dude has to go and be audacious i have to go in and focus on the right people here that bot is easily gonna go in to come on up here at the worst time so i think we go in for full finish i'm seeing this dude yes come on good okay yeah we have oh did i just see a dude oh bro i must be tripping okay we'll finish here good bro i'm loving oh no yeah guys we are in a little bit of trouble here this dude definitely doing resi hey good 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 there is no way he would have been able to to go and get res off i think final guy is just gonna be right behind the log also this dude is just with this sniper right up here he is probably just waiting for you. Oh, dude. Wait. Oh, this man just got decimated. Wait, did he go and die by? Oh, bro. This could be This could be a bad idea. No. Good. Okay, we know that he just went and used. Whoa. Okay. Oh, baby. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is this is a little bit bro okay fair play and i know that i did not go and have any types of krms or any of that type of stuff here for uh for this game just due to me not going and being that big of like a shoddy user but regardless if you guys want some of the best builds here for the battle royale for this season feel free to go and try out some of those guns